Welcome to another section season of our farm. My name remains Engineer Theocracy. Uh, I'm here to tell you another raw truth about snail farming. Another raw truth. And when I mean raw truth, is uh, I am not here to tell you a modified truth. A modified truth is truth that has element of lies. When there are lies in a story, and there are also some part of it are true, so it's a miss, it's called a modified truth. Those kind of truths are kind of sweet, yeah, sweet, manageable truth. But when it's a modified, when it's a, a pure raw truth, raw is very, very bitter. So I'm here to tell you another truth. And the topic says, why do snail hibernate? Why do snail go on hibernation? Example of it is this. Why do snail go on hibernation? Now we have to break it down. And uh, I want all of us to do it together. Let's reason together. I don't like saying I'm training you. I'm not teaching you. Those in my college are being taught by me. But those in my YouTube channel, I am not teaching you. I am just giving you a lecture. So you pick what you want to pick and go. But if I'm training you, I will have to tell you what to do. And you have to do it that way. Those are the people in my college. I tell them what to do at a particular time. You don't do anything. Do it like this. You do it like this. So that you become successful as I am. Because I'm the one mentoring you. So if you don't want me to mentor you, you can just take information from the YouTube channel and go. Yep. So back to the topic. Why do snail hibernate? First, we need to understand certain things before we go into the topic deeper. When you talk about dry season, dry season is classified into two. The season where the weather is dry. Why the season where the weather is dry and the air in the weather is dry? Dry season is a season where the whole earth is dry because as a refusal of rain dropping. So the earth becomes dry. At that, you can use your sprinkler to supplement or substitute for the rain. Everything in your farm becomes balanced. Dry season is a season where the earth is dry, no rainfall. Then our sprinkler will start taking place, start walking in place of the rain. In this farm, there are no sprinklers, but we have rain gone everywhere. When we shoot the rain gone everywhere, it looks like there's rain falling. Yes, we use the rain gone. Now, Hamatan season is not a season where both the earth is dry and the air is dry. Please differentiate it. Dry season is no rain, but the humidity on the air is sufficient enough. There is sun, but the air has some humidity. Then when Amatan now comes, Amatan doubles the problem. So in, in dry season, you can use water to sprinkle your farm. Your snails' life, they still live their life normal. Remember, you've used the net to reduce the sun. Everything in your farm is normal. The snail will be happy because the only thing absent is rain. And now you have brought your sprinkler as a replacement for rain. So everything balanced. But immediately, Hamatan season enters the dry season. It becomes a double problem. One, the earth is dry. Now the air is dry. Immediately the air is dry. Something has to happen. The snails are air-breathing animals. They breathe from the air. That period, most animals, not just snail, most animals goes on hibernation. The environment is not conducive for them. Do you also agree with me 
that during that Ramadan season, human being is affected. Chickens are affected. Most animals are affected. How does Ramadan season affect human? Probably with that, you will understand what is happening to snail. Sometimes, in the, not sometimes, most times, you will see many people's lips tearing. Their lips will tear. You understand? You see their scale. Some people's body will be white. All your skin that are moisturizing before now will dry out. Some people will start having some cuts in their legs. Everything in your body will dry off. You wash your clothes and put outside within a few minutes, everything dries. Now, that period, if you have an injury, you know what happens. Everything dries on the air. There is no humidity, no, no water on the air. It's dry. Even if you blow your nose, that period, nothing comes out. You start picking some dirt from your nose, everything inside is dry. Why is everything dry? Because the hamatan dries off everything. That's a period where everything is dry. So how does that period affect snails? The snails as they, they release their slime. Their body is moist. Their body is never dry. So when they contrast their, their, their meat inside the shell, which is the endoskeleton, what happened? The hamatan would dry off the, the, the slime in there. It is not the snail hibernating themselves. It is not that the snails are the one doing it. They are not the one doing it. They are not the one hibernating themselves. It is the weather, the harsh, hot, dry weather, which is the hamatan, we dry off. Anything at that period dries off. So the slime that is in the body of the snail will dry off. So if you sprinkle your farm at that hamatan period, it doesn't retain water on the air. You only sprinkle water for the crops to continue to grow. Why the snails are sleeping? They sleep because the air is dry. The air they breathe is dry. So if you sprinkle your water and there are a lot of a little, little water on the air, within a short period of time, the hamatan will dry off the water from the air. That is not the period snails goes out to breathe in dry air. Their body is moist, full of water. When they move and the hamatan dries off the water in their body, it's over. They don't want that to happen. So it's not a conducive period for them to move about. It is not a conducive period for them to move about. That is why they contrast and slip off. They go and sleep. It's a resting period for snails. No matter the sprinkle you sprinkle your fan, the snail will sleep. Do you know why they are sleeping? Because it's natural. No matter the cream, no matter the, the rub you rub here, the weather is dry, is dry. Sometimes we don't want the, the, the hamatan to tear our skin. We start applying some cream, moisturizing cream, so that it will not dry off our skin. Yes, that is to tell you that hamatan dries off human skin. It affects all animals. So animals will just go and sleep that season between the arrival of the hamatan to when the hamatan will go. So snails naturally goes on hibernation that period. So when you see snails sleeping in your farm, no matter the water you give to them, they will not wake up. Even if you water it and it comes out, within a short period, they realize that the air is dry. They will return back to hibernation. So hibernation is not a problem. Hibernation is just a natural thing that occurs in, in, in most animal kingdom. Snails are part of it. Human being dries out. Yes, human being dries out. If you, if you are driving and you allow the air to blow you, you will realize that everything in your nose, your mouth, your eyes are dry. That's a period where you cry. People will hardly realize that you are, you, you are crying because any water that, that drips from your, 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 your eye, Amatan will dry it off. So, hibernation is not a sickness. I study them during this period of hibernation, try to observe them what is going on. 
It is not a season to say, what are the farm? What, you are watering the crops, and the crops is going down the earth for the vegetations to grow. But as for snail, it doesn't change it. They must dry out. They must go because the thing drying them is not in the soil. It's in the air. That's what's called humidity. The humidity level in the farm is very low. Look at my humidity meter. There's a humidity meter in this farm. As I'm talking to you now, the humidity meter here now is really 42. 42, very low. Very, very low. So I observe my humidity in the farm with a humidity meter. The temperature is being observed by a calculator. You understand me? So it's natural. When early in the morning, you see the humidity will boost up. Immediately it is sunny, everywhere dries off. The snail must sleep. The snail must sleep. So don't feel bad. Don't feel discouraged. And this sleeping period is a period that they will not eat. It's a period that all of them will be slow and weak. All of them will come out if you put food for them. Sorry. If you put food for them, they will not eat. You understand? They will not eat. So it's a very low period of growth. Allow them to sleep for just a few periods of hammer time. It affects me. It affects you. So it's not a period where you'll be discouraged. What's happening? That period, there is no mating. That period, eating reduced. That period, no romance. That period, many things will reduce because the environment is not conducive for their life. None of the snail wants to die. So for them to die, because the little water they have in their system will be conserved, reserved for them to live. Without water in their system, they will die off. And the frequency of moving in the farm and they are drying you off. So from 10% of water in your system, you go today in the night, you go around, it dries off you, you have 8%, you go again, it dries you off, you have 5%, you go again, 2%, 1%, boof, you die. They don't want to die. Some say 10% reserve. 5% reserve. They will not come outside because they don't want to move. The snail uses slime to move. So the water in the, in the earth makes them regain back their slime with the moist nature of the land. But now the ground is dry. They don't want to move. So you water the ground, you water the ground, beautiful. You think they will get water from there. What about the air that they breathe? Snail breathe. They take air, 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 they take their breath from the air. Now the air is dry. And when you're taking a hot air into your system, what happens? It dries you off. So don't worry, uh, 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 it's a natural thing. Sometimes you want to beat nature, you kill yourself. Allow them, allow them. So anybody telling you snail hibernation is a problem, tell the person it's not a problem. It's a natural period for them to sleep and relax because the weather is not conducive for them. Now look at it, how do I do it? What do you want me to do now to increase the humidity of this farm? I water everywhere now, the amatan will dry off it from the air, and the humidity remains the same. And now when snake comes, they say, you've not done a good job. Increase, you increase, amatan dries it off. Will you fight with amatan? No. The best thing is tell the snake, go and sleep. I remain engineer theocracy, the inspector general of Philom Moloska. I want to use this opportunity to tell you that this 2023, I would tell you nothing, nothing, but some other facts you need to know. But one password that you need to understand, I am here to give lecture. I am not on YouTube to teach you. You can get some teachings from there, but when I said I teach you and I lecture you, teaching and lecture is not the same thing. Those in my college have been taught by me and follow my footsteps. Give them directions on what to do. But most of them who have failed in my college are those who collect information here, collect information here, gather information for different places, and mix it together and practice. Now the question is, who taught you? Who is your mentor? They don't have. They gather, they gather, and they practice. Sometimes they fail. 
allow somebody to hold your hands and pass through a journey. And let me advise. You want to spend millions to do a project. And you decide to go on internet to get some information on internet and you start a project. Most of the people that will construct your farm for you, they know how to construct farm. Construction of farm is not the business. That is not the business. You just build a farm for you. Okay, we finish building the farm. We bring snare and put. Goodbye, they've gone. Now that they've gone, from that stage, you will start moving to slime extraction business. You start moving to meat processing business. You start moving to shell processing business. Business for business. See, snails farming is why. In SRT, we'll take you through all the journey. We are not just building farms and neglecting you. No, except you ask us to leave you, that you can run the race yourself. Goodbye. So our advice is an advice. Please, get somebody who will take you through the entire journey. I am ready for you. Why am I here? I am ready to take you through the journey. Yes. You will say I'm marketing myself. If I do not market myself, who will market me? I'm telling you, I will take you through the journey. Marketing, Abby. Yes, I'm marketing. And I want to market you now. Now, listen, bro. Listen, sis. Contact me. Yeah? Yeah? I will build your farm for you. I will show you the road. Slime production, I'm there. Fabrication of your equipment for refinery, I'm there. Exportation of slime to different country, I'm there. Processing and packaging of, of slime, I'm there. Meat processing, I'm there. Mention. When it comes to snail farming, uh-uh, uh-uh. But you know, say, so they try now. But you don't know. If you don't know, bro, I did try. I lose many sleep just to make sure I get where I am. Don't you think you should tell me, oh boy, well done. Encourage me in my comment section, talk. Even if I'm not doing it right, please talk there and correct me. Your muting will not help me. Tell me, bro, this thing, you ought to have done it this way. Bro, you ought to have done it this way. You know, correct me. Advise me in the comment section. Give me a call. Talk to me. Don't you think I need encouragement? Am I not human being like you? Every time, every time, you'll be just watching me and you just go. You will say your house, you'll be saying, wow. Inside your house, you say, man, this guy is trying. Guy, that means eh, I did try. Don't you they tell your wife or they tell your shit that they tell people where they are at this. I did try, but you know they tell me. They don't tell me. I go there for fun. They walk, they walk, they do, they do. Nobody they call me. They tell me, say, I did try. Bro, since 2023, tell me. Even tears when they come because I'm a man. Don't try all of them. Come off of mine. <laughs> um, um, uh.